Keeping on the device side, let's talk about tablet computers. Um, we have a great data point on this, actually, from uh, yesterday's uh, Apple conference call. 80% of the Fortune 500 has bought or is piloting tablet computers. It's pretty high. It was 65% one quarter ago. Where do we see tablet computers in the enterprise? And we think this is an important shift. A year ago, I was kind of crazy to come up and talk about tablets succeeding at all. But where people thought that they would succeed were as consumer devices used as media consumption, as toys, as gaming devices, but not, not, not for business. I mean, these aren't good enough for business. Let's talk about some exceptions to that. This is a retail store. Fairly obviously, you can see in this picture, um, they're using it just like a catalog. It's a digital catalog, but unlike a traditional uh, print catalog, never goes out of date. <laughs> It's real-time connected to the warehouse. If you're out of that item, you can tell people that. You can show them video demonstrations of whatever it is you want them to see. We see millions of these being bought as catalogs, as kiosks, as maybe point-of-sale terminals inside retail stores. Here's another great, great market, health. We have tried so hard for so many years to get information technology into our hospitals. And what have the barriers to entry been? Two, primarily. Um, they're hard to use, they're hard to carry, they're big. Uh, doctors don't like learning new software. But there's another real problem. If you've ever been in a hospital, here's a good word. I don't even know what it is in French. Somebody help me out here. In, uh, it's a Latin word that we use in English. If you acquire an infection inside a hospital, it's called nosocomial. Does anybody, uh, with the same word? Nosocomial. See this? It's a fan. It sucks air in and blows air out. Uh, anybody see a problem with that in a hospital? Next, I've got this. That's foie gras. It's because I had foie gras last night. If somebody's liver falls on this, how am I going to get? Robert? No more liver jokes, right? OK, no more liver. All of a sudden, please picture a doctor, a nurse, sharing this with you, showing you the images of the, of the x-ray, uh, being able to talk, move, and afterwards, there's no fan, you wipe it down. Millions, millions of units going into the health market just this year. Here's the actually, those first two aren't even the important one. This is the important one. Anybody uh, who isn't from Deloitte, geeky enough to recognize what's on screen there? It's SAP. SAP uh, NetWeaver running. SAP is an enterprise resource planning company, uh, one of the two biggest in the world. Uh, they don't have many customers. It's only, I think it's 150 million people using the software. It's a small market. And uh, uh, one of the things is that, that it used to be running an SAP implementation a few years ago. This thing was, I mean, powerful software. Don't get me wrong. But you needed the latest, greatest computer to run it. It was, it was just very resource intensive. You know what else you can do? You can run NetWeaver over a virtualization tool like Citrix and load it onto a tablet computer and it works like a charm. It's perfectly secure and SAP Canada, and this is why I can talk about them, we work with SAP all the time, but uh, that's not where this information comes from. I was at a speech that the CEO of SAP Canada said, and they are buying tens of thousands of tablets and deploying this with their own employees, and they are evangelizing this. Getting the enterprise resource planning, the electronic content management that maybe a company like OpenText might use, the business intelligence tools of another Canadian company like IBM Cognos. All of a sudden, we are going to see massive deployment of, of enterprise software on tablet computers. Our prediction? Of the 50 to 60 million tablets that sell this year worldwide, we believe 12 to 15 million, 25% will be bought and paid for by enterprises. It's not the majority, but anybody who thinks that these are just, just uh, uh, toys is missing a very important growth story.